right back here at Kennywood. Uh, Bites and Pints is now officially over, so uh, they're going to have Fall Fantasy and parades and stuff. But that's not this week, so this is kind of this week that's in between all that stuff. The end of Bites and Pints and right before Fall Fantasy. So uh, this will be kind of a unique Friday. We'll see uh, how it goes. Judging by what I have gotten into in the parking lot, it looks kind of like it's going to be a busy day. Just judging on the number of cars in the lot versus what I usually see on a Friday. So we'll have to see. It might be a busy day today. All right, so we're skyrocket again for the first ride. We've got a little bit of a May of the Mist tour here going on. I got the misters on, and uh, you know, once again, it's pretty much going to be almost like right on. It looks like there's some people waiting up at the steps that go on to the balcony up there, and then uh, then you're on. Now the question is, do they have two cars running? Oh, well, actually, no. This is a little bit more of a wait than usual. We're back here, but pretty close. You can see here the Bites and Pints booths are still there. There's Italy and Greece and all that. They're just uh, closed up now, so they should be, uh, I guess, done. I wish they were still open. It would be nice to have, like, one more week. That was really good. I really liked it. Um, like the beers, like the food. Really nice, but uh, I guess all good things got to come to an end, and right now... Uh, they, they extended it was definitely open like longer than it was last year from what I remember anyway so um, I'm glad and maybe they'll uh, keep it open even longer next year hopefully it did well we're on Jersey watch to see who we have is it still Heinz Ward nobody's been able to put it together to win Heinz Ward come on Super Bowl 40 MVP you gotta want that Jersey Blackwood is still up and operational looks like I got a bit Pretty nice crowd in the background there. I mean, it's not like standing out of the uh, out of the little cave part of the queue, but it's yeah, it's pretty close. It's going into it, so that's taking up a good, lot of, good bit of people. So hopefully, hopefully, that might take away from the uh, exterminator crowd. Maybe there'll be a lower line there. I'm gonna go check it out. Exterminator is still pretty long, but I'm gonna try my luck on a slingshot. It looks like I might have to wait. One or two more times. So that's a little bit better. So I'll try that before I head on and check out to see uh, uh, opens and closures on other things like the Raging Rapids, see what's going on with that. And um, um, no. Oh, Steel Curtain, yeah. See if that's up and running. Yeah, we'll have to check on that. That was closed last week. So it was Raging Rapids after they kind of just like reopened it. So we'll have to see if they get up and running. All right, on my way to check the status of those other rides, I glanced over at the uh, uh, Phantom's uh, Fam Revenge and there was like no line. The first queue was like empty, so I got on and basically from the time I got on to the time I got off, seven minutes. So that includes the time to actually ride the ride. So that's pretty good. Open and open. Ghostwood Estate is open this time, and so is Raging Rapids. So I'm going to try to get on it, show a little bit of the ride that I can from up above from the line. You can see a little bit. Like I said, it's been totally, uh, totally redone. So I'll capture what I can up here once I get up on those uh, those wooden steps there and show you what's going on the best that I can. All right, going up the steps. It's actually kind of a clear path across here, but. Get you a little bit of what's going on here. So there is no waterfall. This used to be the vantage point where you'd see somebody on the waterfall. There goes a boat, or whatever you want to call it, down there. Uh, oh, okay, we're stopping here. I actually get a chance to film. This might actually be perfect. And as you can see, if they're flying, I think they're flying. They're flying way faster than you used to. Maybe not when you first get going. It's kind of slow, but once you get around there. You yeah. You're really cruising. It's it's just like way faster, I think. Again, no waterfall, but you still can get pretty wet. You might not necessarily get wet. It's like, you know, hit or miss. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's some down there. Yeah, nobody really coming around right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't really get anybody. But, um... Yeah, this thing is different, so if you want to go into Raging Rapids and feel like you're bored with the old ride and want something new, here you go. This is different. Here comes somebody down here now. 
and our queue's moving. But uh, yeah, I think you can even tell by the water that you're really cruising right now. So uh, not a long line to get on there. Basically the same way getting on, you have that round hub and you just jump in and they just rotate you right on out. And you come up the same ramp by the jackrabbit. But uh, yeah, you're, other than that, the whole ride is like a completely different experience. It's like being on a new ride almost. Like, like they have other versions of this and it's almost like being on like another version like Popeye's Universal or uh, that one in Animal Kingdom of Disney that its name escapes me right now. But uh, yeah, it's something really cool to try. Great bad news all around. Steel curtain, steel closed. Yeah, steel closed. Yeah, steel closed. Still closed and the little bar in the back closed too it looks like. I got that all covered up so yeah they even got it bordered off there so you can't even get back to the gift store so uh no skew, uh, steel curtain uh happenings today and uh yeah aero 360 almost forgot about it but it's still down i guess that's going to be down for some foreseeable time yet well the good news is uh even though there's no uh, steel curtain bar and no bites of pints as you can see some more closed ones still have the beer garden to get my white claws so not all hope is lost okay i'd gotten questions about the lockers so right down from the first aid slash bumper cars first aid by the bumper cars there you go that's convenient okay so large 18 jumbo 23 so oh they look like they show two bags three bags because so much they'll fit so uh, these are the lockers, and there are lockers out in front of the park too. I just noticed that it's by security where I don't really like try to film, but uh, there's lockers there as well. But there's, I don't know, there's a good bit of lockers here, very similar to what they have at like Sandcastle. So, uh, and then of course, yeah, they're right by the old movie theater that I miss, where they have like little signs here, bites of pints, and the Fourth of July stuff. Oh, Fall Fest my favorite time of the year. And Holiday Lights is pretty nice too. I just wish I would get this movie theater back up and running. Or as a movie theater too, not as something else. The pirate trip is as a short line. I think I'm going to do the pirate trip in the Music Express. So, uh, they pretty much got short lines, so they're always uh, going to get back their fun rides. And usually they're short lines, so. All right, on the Ghost Wood Estate, not much of a line here. We just got through and listened to the presentation by a walking Easter egg, Kenneth Ghostwood. So the word Ken and Wood is in his name. And uh, get ready to get up here and uh, blast myself some ghosts. Always a fun time. See some of the outside there. It looks kind of creepy there. You got the windows, kind of like with cobwebs. The stairs, the... I don't know what. And then there's your buggy that you get on. It's this Ghostwood Estate. And there's the doors you go through when you enter in. There's someone coming back out through the windows. Pretty cool uh, effects. I don't like the lights. Though you can't really see it too much glare. These guys are going in. I already see red laser dots because they're trying to shoot something that isn't there yet. But uh, there they go. All right, 1340 was my score. That's pretty good. Here back at the pavilion, and I uh, went to 1898 Cafe, and uh, I'm gonna try the coffee, which had uh, whole milk today. No cream yet. I'm gonna try the donuts. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Pretty good, they were like a real solid donut. Uh, pretty heavy. Like not like a French crawler with a bunch of air in it. Pretty good. And pretty big. Well, I think it's on the frosting and I like it. I don't eat sweet treats as much as you probably can tell. But uh, these are pretty good. Alright, I got the 30 minute warning about five minutes ago. So I'm going to try to hit the jackrabbit in the old mill if I can. I'm right back by the 1898 cafe, so those rides are just over there and over there. So uh, hopefully I can get them done. Alright, you 
see a picture if you can freeze it. There goes the turtle. There goes the jackrabbit. Or the um, jackrabbit. Yeah, Thunderbolt. Yeah, I will get to stay here. What is this ride? I, I don't recognize this. This is strange. Doesn't look like it would be the Phantom or the Phantom's Revenge. This is a picture just by the jackrabbit. I'm not sure what ride this kid's on. I mean, that looks like the turtles. That looks like the Thunderbolt. It's right around the Steel Phantom or even the Laser Loop would be. So there. But the Laser Loop had a, I'm sure, over the chest harness. From what I remember, I rode it once. When I was really little. Don't know what this is. The Jackrabbit took a little bit longer to get through than I had anticipated. It's basically uh, 9.01 at the moment, and I think everything ought to be closed by now. Yes, you can't even get on the old mill. Big uh, pile up at the exit here. So it was a busy day, but I tell you what, if you find the right ride, you can get on pretty quick. And for the most part, I was fortunate enough to notice what was quick, and I got on it. So uh, that's about it, and I will see you on the next video.